When I came to revival school, the thing that struck me, um, first of all, was the real love that there was um, already existing with the people that were here. I was a bit apprehensive and thought that maybe everyone that came to revival school would be about 19 or 20, just out of school, but I was really wrong. Um, the age range of people that came to do revival school um, ranged from 19 up to late 50s. And it was a real blessing to be with um, a mixture of people from different backgrounds. Um, there were married people, single people, families, um, and all those, uh, those different types of people made it a real rich experience. And I think that everybody found themselves going on a journey. Um, when you're thrown together with strangers for three months, you wonder what's going to happen next. But what God did was really build um, community and a, an environment where people felt safe and an environment where God was really able to minister his love to people. Um, so, first of all, it's an actual revival school. Um, right from the outset, there was a, it was really characterized by the love, the love of God. Revival School focuses on three main um, strands. Intimacy with God, our identity, and also the destiny and call that he has on our lives. In terms of intimacy, I found that being at Revival School really deepened my um, knowledge and experience of the Father Heart of God and his love. Um, I had, um, had some teaching on that before I came, but I found that being in this environment um, for three months, just something just happened where there was just a whole new level of understanding and um, experience of, of the Father. And how did that happen? It happened through some of the teaching sessions that speakers came in to do. It happened through um, corporate worship. And it also happened through just being in community and sharing life with people, um, maybe quite diverse people, but nevertheless wonderful people for, for three months, and learning to love one another and honour one another as Christ really honours us. Um, quite a powerful moment happened fairly early on in revival school. I was in a worship time and um, one of the speakers had been talking about healing and um, healing of mindset. And I found myself during the worship time having a vision or an impression of Jesus and um, the crown of thorns that he wore. And then I saw thorns sticking into my brain, um, like into my mind. And each one of those, um, on each one of those was a different label. So one might be rejection, one could be abandonment. And I was like, oh my goodness, there are all these things kind of going on in my, my mind. But then I saw another picture and it was, instead of a crown of thorns, um, Jesus was replacing that crown with, um, it was like a, a garland of flowers, but it was a crown made out of petals. And I was reminded of the scripture where it said that he gives us beauty for ashes and a crown of beauty um, instead of, um, you know, a crown of suffering, really. And I went home after that worship time and I decided I would paint what I'd seen. And prophetic art was one of the streams that um, we looked at in revival school. And I found that through painting and actually depicting what I'd seen in the worship time, it really helped to bring some closure on what, what God had been doing in that time of worship. And it was very, very powerful, and it marked a real turning point for me in just getting rid of some stuff that I'd struggled with for a long time. In 
terms of identity, um, I think I have a greater revelation and understanding of who I am as a son of God and also as a daughter of the king and just as a kingdom ambassador. The third area that was focused on at the Bible School is destiny. And um, really, the major destiny that we all have is to really be loved by God and to walk as his beloved. Um, but more specifically, we've all got different callings and giftings in our lives. I've always loved music and I'm a worshipper. Um, I play several instruments and I write songs. But I'm not always very confident in um, getting up there at the front and leading or um, singing. So actually Revival School was good for me because it, there were opportunities um, to lead worship, there were opportunities to um, share testimony and to really get out of your comfort zone and, um, and, and grow in the areas that God has kind of given you um, as, as giftings. Well, Tiano certainly isn't a big city, but if you like adventure and you like being outdoors, it is a great place to come and spend some time. I love being at Revival School um, here because there's so much beautiful scenery surrounding you at all times, and you get to do a lot of adventurous activities if you are so inclined. Um, as part of Revival School, we did several um, camps out in the bush, we spent some time at Boyd Creek and just took everybody, including the children, out and had time out in the middle of the most beautiful surroundings. Um, and there's something about being surrounded by nature and being away from the usual distractions of life, which is a very wonderful experience. Um, there are beautiful lakes and rivers in this area and it is the most stunning scenery I think you'll find nearly, that I've, I've, I've ever seen, this beautiful mountains. Um, it actually snows um, at times, and um, so there are opportunities to um, ski, and there's opportunities to, um, yeah, have snow fights, and just um, go up um, to Milford Sound and see uh, the waterfalls and the fjords up there. Some of us went on a mission to Tonga, and uh, that was really good fun. I found that um, I've always loved people from different nations, so it was great to have the opportunity to go to another nation um, where there's a different culture, but again, take kingdom culture um, with us. And what I found was that the things that have been imparted during revival school, were, we were really able to use those and equip other people. And I think Revival School is really about that. It's about equipping you to go and maybe equip others, but, but to bring the kingdom, um, not to always be the one that's got all the answers, but to give people the tools um, to, to really grow in their relationship with God um, and actually have the confidence to share those things. Um, so it's an awesome experience to do a rival school. Um, I'd recommend it to anybody. And uh, if you're thinking about um, signing up, don't hesitate. Um, I would really encourage you to apply and see what happens because God can do amazing things.